Hello class, this is chapter 1.4 and we are going to go through a separable differential equation example. This is the equation that we are dealing with. And when we are solving separable differential equations, it is always good to write it in the dy dx notation. So let's first translate that over. dy dx equals y times sine x. Okay, and we have to shift everything that has a y term to the left and everything that has an x term to the right. Everything with a y term includes y's and dy's. So let's move 1y dy equals sine x dx. And this is going to be an integral on both sides. On the left side, the antiderivative of 1 over y is going to be log of the absolute value of y. The antiderivative of the sine x is just going to be minus cosine x. And let's add a plus c to denote the integration constant. So we have to take the exponentials of both sides. So we have e natural log of y equals e minus cosine x plus c. This is just going to be the absolute value of y, and this is going to be e minus cosine x plus c. And since exponentials are always going to be positive, we can just write this down as y. This is going to be our general solution. Sometimes it's going to be easier to figure out the parameter if we write it differently. If we, we often want to write it down as k equals ec instead, in which case we can write down the general solution like so. so So you can distribute the exponential like so and get just this. And this would be our general solution. And if we have initial values, we can try to solve for that case. 